Leveneau, professor of clarinet at the University of North Texas. And I'm Nathan Neb, professor of saxophone at Stephen F. Austin State University. We want to talk to you a little bit about uh, oral cavity shape and tongue position when playing clarinet and saxophone. It has a pretty dramatic effect on sound quality. And the concept is the same between clarinet and saxophone in that we need to shape the air using our old cavity and tongue shape to direct the air as efficiently as possible into that tip opening, the place right between the reed and the mouthpiece tip. So that concept is the same, but the way we execute it, of course, is different between clarinet and saxophone, because for clarinet, that tip opening is gonna be higher and farther forward in the mouth than it is for saxophone. And this is one of the more difficult concepts to work with, because unlike with hand position or embouchure, uh, everything is internal, so we have to rely on our understanding of a certain sound may be a symptom of this kind of tongue position or another. So we're gonna help give you some uh, tricks to work on this and then some ways to diagnose it. One of the tools that I use to help my students to determine proper tongue position is just getting them to vocalize different vowel sounds. So we'll start with um, E and having them hold that out. So just saying E and then asking them, okay, um, how does that feel? Developing an awareness, like where, what are the sides of your tongue? Is the tongue forward? Is it higher or lower? Understanding all of that. And then having them say, oh, uh, which is a much lower sound and developing that same awareness. And then actually um, ultimately having them slide between E and O, which ends up with an U sound. Now, the tip of the tongue is forward, uh, but the tip of the tongue is slightly lower. Um, and there's a kind of a gentle arch in the tongue position. And this gives us a great uh, general tongue position for saxophone. Who is a good syllable for clarinet too, but because the tip of our tongue has to be higher in our mouth to touch the tip of the reed, generally an E based syllable is going to work better for clarinet. And in fact, a syllable that seems to work well for many clarinetists is to whisper the word he, like and when students do that, they'll typically find that their, their tongue inside their mouth might even touch the, the front molars up here. And as a test, what we can do is if we whisper that syllable he and move air behind it and put our hand underneath our chin, we'll even feel that air coming back behind our front teeth. So that's a nice indicator that your tongue is in the right place for clarinet. And so this really does have a drastic impact on sound. So Kim, can you demonstrate, for instance, like an O syllable, if okay. you're going to play O or uh? For sure, and I'm gonna use an open G because that's a, that's a note on the clarinet that makes the syllabic differences pretty obvious. So okay. here's an O syllable. Yeah, so that sound is, is not necessarily very focused. Not very focused, kind of foggy. We might even qualify it as spread. Yeah, now that we've heard that, what does it sound like when you uh, play with like a he sound? Right, much more focused. Much more focused without really doing anything different except modifying the shape of my tongue inside my mouth. Right, right, right. Okay, so let's try it with saxophone because uh -huh. now I'm curious. So what if you do the uh syllable? So it's the same, it's kind of spread, right. kind of foggy, lax center, right. lax direction. Right. Okay, so now show me the e. Okay. Nice. Yeah. More focused, more, focused. more centered. Right. This is a really important topic to address with students because it's it's something that is not always uh, apparent to them, not ne you know necessarily something they can see or even are aware of until we work on it with them. And in fact, as they develop, this, these are good baseline places, and as your students develop, they'll get more subtlety and more finesse. But this is a great place for them to start to get the oral cavity in the best place for characteristic sound.